Hey everyone, it is vibe time and we are back. Welcome everyone. Um, so today I've got a special podcast episode for us. Um, so first off, we're going to start out with the inspiration. How's everyone doing today? Good? Good. Just remember, keep your heads held high. Don't let life get you down, no matter how hard it may be. Alright, on to the news. So, to start off this week of the podcast, uh, the current news is as follows. First, The Last of Us uh, Season 2 is coming to HBO soon. Of course, it will have Pedro Pascal again. Um, and it's basically going to be off of the second game. So, the thing is, is that uh, they can stir up a lot of controversy here like the second game did a long time ago. Um, and it'll be interesting to see. I will be curious to see if the fans will come together or if they'll just be a part about it and not for it. But I'm all for anything they do because The Last of Us so far has been a banger. It has slapped. All right. Next up, we have Moana 2. Yes, yes. Moana, one of my favorite animated films, is now getting a second one. And the trailer didn't look bad, but... Come on, let's be real now. Look at Frozen to Frozen 2. Look at look at that stuff and then be like, yeah, I mean, I expect it would be decent, but at the same time, nothing can live up to that first original one, you know? Like, I don't know. So that's where I'm at with it. But still, Moana 2, coming soon. Still has Dwayne Johnson and all that. Yeah. All right. And then I saw Jeff Dunham. Yes, yes, I did. That was fun. Um, so, telling you guys about uh, Jeff Dunham when I saw him. So, we're there waiting like 30 minutes early in line. Um, and it's already getting packed. So, we eventually get in there, we get our seat, and um, we get our really good bleacher seat like normal. It's a little bit to the side. Um, we're on the left bleacher, the stage is like maybe 20 feet in front of us so it's i mean it's not far but uh when jeff came on stage it was just so freaking funny uh you want to talk about a really funny comedian who's really good with a whole bunch of different people that just starts to increase and just gets better and better and better as he goes this is that guy because wow when it got to, I think his puppet's name was the purple one, Peanut, at the end. Oh, my God. Me <laughs> me and my puppet just started dying laughing because, oh, man, that puppet was funny. But, uh, yeah, so I did see Jeff Dunham, would highly recommend. And it's so funny. His tour was called Still Not Cancelled. That's, yeah. Uh, I can see. I mean, I don't know how he hasn't been cancelled yet, but still is what it is. All right, and then, yes, the FDA allergy fixing spray. So apparently the FDA is trying to make a spray that you can spray to preempt any allergies that you can get from food. Um, and so, like, any food allergies you have or anything, the spray is supposed to, from what I understand, uh, supposed to stop it before it even starts. So that'll be interesting. Um, and then we get to the Alabama weed fight. Yes, this has been going on three years now. Alabama is trying to make marijuana a uh, state legalized, and um, they're still fighting it. Uh, they've been fighting it for three years, and they're still going strong. Um, and I hope they win it, because, I mean, I, me as a person, I think everyone should be entitled to do what they want to do. As long as it's not hurting others, and as long as they're very controlled and very smart about it, you're not hurting anything. Um, and then on to the last thing for the current news before we get into the real meat and grit of what's going on today. Um, Dead Rising Remastered. Oh, talk about something I'm excited about. So, for those of you who don't know, there's a video game series. It's called Dead Rising. It's basically about this guy, Frank West, kills a whole bunch of zombies um when he's trapped in an outbreak and 
throughout the next games, you have to basically keep him alive and whatnot because he's infected. You Zombrex this whole... <laughs> Speaking of Zombrex... Zombrex, I got, I got the prop. This is something I've had for a long time now. This is an actual... Uh, I don't know if you guys can read it. It's a uh, auto injector for Zombrex, and it's right there. I have the actual Zombrex syringe, so that's cool. Um, but I uh, love that game series, and now I finally learn about 20 years later that they're doing the remaster of the first game, which, in my opinion, was probably the best one, besides two off the record, which had Frank West instead of. Uh, what was his name? Chuck, I think. Um, but yeah, no. So, super fun. Uh, they're basically gonna revamp the map. They're adding new zones. Um, the graphics are gonna be insane, and I'm excited for this. Like, this is the one thing that I'm gonna be playing constantly on the channel when it's out. You best believe it. First, stay tuned for a certain gameplay series coming soon at the end of this month when it releases, and uh, you guys will see that first. Uh, make sure you check out the YouTube channel at It's Vibe Time, and you'll see all of them there first. Alright, so let's get into the gameplay and the story of the day. Alright, so we are going to go here. Oh, shoot, that's right, I'm playing. So... What we are going to talk about today is, I was thinking last night, and I was thinking, man, I have hurt myself in some stupid ways in the past. So, I decided that today would be a good time as any on the podcast to share some of my dumbest painful experiences, and to basically hope you guys can learn or, uh, yeah, not do the shit I did. All right, here we go. So first off, we're going to start with the needle spectrum. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I hate needles. Don't like them. I mean, I can tolerate them, but if there was something like a nasal spray versus a syringe, you know I'm going for the nasal spray because, I mean, as much as I can tolerate them, I still just don't like the thought of anything poking you anywhere that's just not well <laughs> hold on pause drake rewind <laughs> all right but uh yeah no i don't like the uh thought of that but in my life sadly i've had to deal with a few of those myself so first we're gonna go with uh sliver in my big toe okay so this was a long time ago i think this was like uh I want to say like f nearing four or five years now um and basically what it was is uh I have to remember too how I got it so I think I was like playing around in the yard or something and then I think next thing I know this big ass sliver just gets wedged inside my freaking big toe as I'm walking and the thing is is that um the first thing that I experienced wasn't really the pain it was the shock of it because I just looked down at my toe and it's just freaking in there just this sliver about like this big just freaking poking out of my toe like that and I was just I don't know so um let's get to the pain that was painful but I was like no I can't take it out I can't take it out um Long story short, I had to actually, like, uh, wear, uh, what is it? I had to walk with, uh, crutches, um, for, like, a week or two, and that was insane, because that was a big, <laughs> like, splinter to just pull out of your freaking big toe, like, God, it went up the skin, up the nail, just freaking in there, and it's like, oh, nah. And then, speaking of needles, the time I, uh, got a, a thumbtack lodged right in my a uh, foot <laughs> but when I got it uh, what is it thumbtack I accidentally stepped on it in the living room about like six years ago and it just went straight in the top of my toe just just straight through the bottom of the toe just went just just clean in needle completely submerged only thing showing was the outside part of the thumbtack and, uh, me, I was a lot again like my past self, and I thought, huh, 
well, best leave it in there. That That's what I've heard. You gotta leave those stuff in there when it happens, so... Um, that's what I ended up doing, uh, until I was watching TV and my mother just ends up freaking yanking it out of there when I'm not expecting it and freaking next minute it's out. But holy shoot, I wasn't expecting that, man. <laughs> that was painful, but that's okay, because it was done, it was over with, and then we move on. But, oof. Speaking of pain I have dealt with in my life, we're going to next go into, uh, Wisdom teeth. <laughs> so, yes, for those of you who don't know, I was put under because I had to get my wisdom teeth removed. Um, and this was also the first time I had to experience an IV. Um, so, what an IV is, it's a needle that they shove into your arm. But the thing is, is that when I was in for my wisdom teeth, I was laying on this bed. This doctor comes in and he's just like, Have you ever had an IV before, kid? Uh. No? Well, I'm gonna poke you with this needle in your arm, and there's a piece here, and it's gonna be able to wiggle, okay? Uh. Oh, what, doc? <laughs> and next thing I know, he's shoving it in, and it's just. And, and next minute, that wiggle part, he's just wiggling, and it's like. Left and right, and I'm like, oh my god, cause he's just wiggling the fuck. And he's got that fucker in there, and he's just wiggling that thing. I'm like, what the? Fuck? But oh man, that was terrible. And then the pain after the wisdom teeth itself. Oh, I wouldn't wish that on people. That is terrible. Like, oh, it was two weeks of recovery, and it was terrible. It was rough, but I made it through. And I'm still here. Also, really, I'm going to take a quick break to just um, make a few announcements as well. I'm going to be posting more blogs. I've got more gameplay series coming on the way, as I've said before. And this podcast is going to keep going on. But the next episode is going to be the monthly debate episode. So you guys don't want to miss that. Stay tuned. Um, I will have a whole panel of people on. Um, and we are going to debate interview and talk about some subjects that might be fun for all of us so stay tuned for that next week um but back to my pain and suffering all right so now we get into the pain spectrum of heat i'm talking hot buffalo wings i'm talking the big hot peppers ghost pepper carolina reapers Serrano, like, I mean, because I'm a pepper grower, I grow a lot of peppers, so I eat a lot of peppers too. So, so the thing is, is that, um, I had this one hot pepper that what we grabbed out of my garden, like, what freaking a week back, and I was like, Psh, that doesn't look hot, it's a green pepper, it's not even red, it's gonna be nothing. So, grab it eat it and the next minute I know oh it's an hour of suffering that was whew. but it didn't compare to the one chip challenge now the one chip challenge um it's basically this chip comes in this big package and it's just a um what is it it just has a skull on the front of it and it's literally just a ch chip with uh the chemical um Oh, what is it called? Castation, I think. Oh, I'm probably butchering that, but uh, it's just pure. Oh, carcinogen. Ah, carcinogen. Yeah, it's just a chip with pure carcinogen on it. And for those of you who don't know what carcinogen is, that's the uh, basically the theme of heat. That's what you call it. That's it's basically just a powder. It's just pure carcinogen meant to make your mouth burn. And it's insane. Uh, I was recovering for like six hours. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. That's how bad that chip was. Um, and it was painful. And I have the video somewhere. And I have to find it again. Because that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, so I've dealt with heat. I've dealt with the needles. Dealt with the wisdom teeth. What could, what could be worse? Oh, now we get into the childhood... Uh, when I was biking. Ooh, yes. So, a few things with bikes. So, for those of you who don't know, I love biking. 
I love riding my bike. But the thing is, is that um, I haven't been too smart about it in a lot of senses. Um, because, uh, when I was younger, you gotta learn how to ride the thing, you know? So, when I was first doing it, I ended up looking and it was a, um, there was this old bike that I, I used when I first started. And it had this big, it was one of the old style ones, so it had this big metal bar that was just right below the uh, seat. It was way down below, so if you slipped off that seat bang you're just hitting that metal bar down below and i was so small at the time that it was hard for me to get off the bike without tilting it to the left so the thing is one day i'm trying to ride it and i accidentally slip off the seat trying to move it and i nut tap myself so hard that i throw up that was rough let me tell you um and that hurt not as bad as the time I fell off the bike and scraped my whole entire freaking knees just on the freaking gravel. That was rough too, but you learn, you live, you get through it. So, that is that. So, let's see. And then, the only time I've really experienced what, a near, what, I'd say near death experience would be a uh, first... Next, I'm going to be talking about the, um, my, uh, drama Christmas party. So this was like, I want to say four years ago now. Um, and basically what it was is, um, our whole drama class was doing this, uh, white elephant gift exchange. For those of you who don't know what white elephant gift exchange is, is it's a pretty classic uh, Christmas party game where what you do is each person brings a gift, it's wrapped, um, there's a budget on the gift, can't be too expensive, um, because it's supposed to be funny and it's supposed to be, like, something that you do for fun and not take seriously, but people take it really seriously. But, uh, the thing is, is that, uh, we were playing white elephant and we finished that and uh one of my friends at the time ended up getting about uh what is it i think the meme was he got 30 uh doritos locos tacos coupons the the free ones that he had to add with the purchase of a regular taco and it was so funny just to see <laughs> Just so we all decided after this we were all gonna go roll up to Taco Bell and all get those free Doritos Locos tacos, you know? So about me and like seven other people. Yes, seven other people. There's like four girls, three guys in this freaking car. Me and my friend uh David are in the freaking back uh what is it, the back bed of it. And uh we end up basically uh laying in there as we drive up and over to Taco Bell. And then David gets inside the truck, and I am the only one in the bed. Um, so we head up to, uh, what is it, this park out the way. And basically, uh, as we're heading up there, um, basically we get there and we stop. It was like a five-minute peaceful drive for me at least. Uh, then I get out and I learned that uh, we almost got hit. So what would have happened is I was in that bed. So what was going to happen is if that car was going any, like, faster, he would have just hit that thing full on and I would have been, boo, ah, Drake out overboard, you know, freaking, I'd be flying, I'd be like the, you guys see the classic Pokemon series, I'd be like Team Rocket, Team Rocket flying off again, <laughs> just freaking, I'd be out of there, but, uh, yeah, no, that was something, and I was just like, whoa. But anyways, we enjoy, have the rest of the night. This is also the night I decided to try a vape for the first time. Now, for those of you who don't know, there's a thousand different types of vapes out there, and it's gone nothing but expand since. And the thing is, is that this was like four years ago, so they weren't quite as rapid or active as they are in our society, because every other person I see is just sucking off that freaking tobacco, like, and I don't get it, man. Like, like, I can understand, um, things that aren't gonna harm your body in the long term, but come on, those vapes with nicotine and all that, come on, guys, you're killing your bodies, gotta stop. Gotta stop that. That's not good. At least if you're doing the Zuzu. 
that's that'll harm you yeah maybe long term maybe later in life maybe you'll be coughing a little bit maybe you're, you won't have quite as big of lung capacity but vapes will kill you two times faster and if you just stack nick on top of that that's gonna kill you even sooner but anyways first time i ever tried at the first and only time only time i've ever tried a nicotine vape um it was in that truck and they had this big ass hookah it was this big hookah vape uh, looked like a bong kind of and what it was is basically uh, they were charging it and they're just like yo Drake wanna try so me being young stupid 16 why not so ended up trying that and I was Nick buzzed off my ass the whole rest of the freaking night until I got home and then that was that and then um, so that was fun. I tried that, and then uh, me and my uh, friend, uh, Gabe, actually, would uh, always try on this, uh, what is it, freaking training vape. And uh, we would always try to do the tricks because we were obsessed with that and stuff. But other than that, I haven't really touched vapes because I'm not for it. I'm all for the uh, natural alternative. Uh, you know what I'm saying, the natural alternative. But yeah. No, so I mean, uh, the moral of the story is I should be dead, guys. I should be dead. But I'm not. And we're still trucking. And that's okay with me. Because I'm alright with that. I'm trying to think. Um, let's see. Any other times that I might have, like, I was close to dying or anything like that. Um, let's see. <sighs> Oh, yeah, uh, I can talk about the concussion up skiing. That was fun. So, uh, there's this uh, ski hill uh, near the city that I uh, currently reside in. And, uh, of course, the ski hill has the green diamonds, the blue diamonds, and the um, black diamonds, of course. And, uh, basically, for those of you who aren't familiar with skiing, snowboarding, anything like that. Um, green is the easiest uh, difficulty of hill. Blues are intermediate. That means you need some experience before you go down them. Otherwise, you will have a <laughs> miserable last time. And then uh, black diamonds, uh, what I do, uh, basically uh, is for experts and only people who, uh, well, are crazy as hell. So me, basically. Um, and... Uh, so we're up there, and um, we're going down this green, but this green's so easy that it has this tree line in the middle of it. And I'm skiing with my friend Gabe, and I think uh, Brett at the time too. And what ended up happening is um, we en I ended up going through the trees or whatever, and uh, Gabe makes it look seamless, just phew, parallel skiing through the freaking trees. Here's me keeping up, and I was semi-new at the time. Uh, and the thing is, I'd only been a few times before, so I was decent, but I wasn't good yet, you know? So the thing is, is that I'm going through the trees, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, look at me, look at me! And the next minute I know, bam! Just smack face first into a tree. Next minute, I hear Gabe pulling me up out of the snow, and I'm just like... <sighs> <sighs> What's going on? <laughs> so basically, um, that, uh, and funny enough, that isn't how I really uh, got the uh, concussion. Um, and I didn't even have the concussion. It turned out when we waited in the doctor's room later that I didn't even have one at all, but I was very close. Um, basically, what ended up happening is uh, I decided, okay, so I failed on that green. What's a blue gonna do? So I end up going down this blue hill, uh, and we're gonna call it Big Eight. And as I uh, head to the top of this hill, and I look down, and I'm literally shitting myself because this hill is huge. Um, I uh, go, you know what? You only live one streak. You're gonna go for it. So I end up going for it, and I end up uh, freaking. YOLOing it down the uh, freaking cliff and um, it's going great. I'm starting, I'm gaining speed, I'm going so fast, I'm like, whoa, I feel alive or whatever, you know? And uh, 
it was fun. I'm having a fun time. And then what ends up happening is, um, uh, there was a lot of powder on the mountain this day. And for those of you who don't know, the uh, powder is way different than just regular snow on a hill. Regular snow on a hill uh, is super easy. You'll slide right over it and it won't cause your skis or snowboard any malfunction. Now, powder is a completely different scenario. Powder on the ground basically means that uh, if you turn your ski wrong, you're going to be stuck in that powder and you're not going to be able to get out. So... What ended up happening is I'm zooming down this mountain, and I'm like, whoa, or whatever, and then I'm starting to lose my balance, but then I, I keep it, and I'm going fine, but then I hit this patch of powder, and next minute I know one of my skis is gone, so I'm, I'm one skiing down the mountain looking like freaking Chuck Norris over here trying to get down this mountain on one foot. Next minute I know I slip up and freaking do a double front flip Blam! Or right on the mountain. Crash. Blackout. This guy comes up, uh, this mobile, and uh, basically the rescue mobile makes sure I'm okay and whatnot. And I'm just like, I'm fine. <laughs> and I wasn't okay, but I ended up going down to the medical facility. We got it all taken care of, and then I waited in the hospital. Yeah, but oh man. That was a crazy, crazy, crazy day. So fun, though. But I should be dead. But I'm not. And I'm here. And that's the moral of today's story. Um. Yeah, I have lived a life. Jumped off of stuff that should have probably got me killed. Done a lot of things that have been stupid. Um, but we're here. We're alive. We learn. And yeah. So those are the stories I've got for you today. Hope you guys learned something. The current news too. So stay tuned for all that stuff. Like I said, the uh, monthly debate episode will happen next week. And that one will be the big one. So that will be the hour one. So please do stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, more gameplay series coming soon. Uh, follow the podcast on Spotify if you're listening through there. Or subscribe to the YouTube channel. All support helps. I'm going to start producing stuff at a higher rate. And I'm excited for it. So uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, this has been the uh, Vibe Time Podcast. I am Drake Hudgens. You can find me um, on YouTube or on the Spotify. Uh, I will also be uploading to uh, TikTok. And if you want, um, I have a Facebook and everything too. Uh, Insta, just hit me up and I'm more than happy to talk. But, yeah, so, uh, thank you guys for listening. I will be back with the monthly debate episode next time. And, uh, yeah, stay solid, everyone. And, um, with that, Drake is out. Have a good night. Peace.